Hey y'all, I'm Val with our Forever Farm. I'm glad you're here. I'm washing dishes. Can you believe that? <laughs> no, I was fixing to grate some cheese and uh, my food processor was dirty. So it was in the dishwasher waiting to be washed. So I need it. I love freshly grated cheese. Today we're making a cabbage casserole and it, it'll be extra special on that. I think I'm gonna split it up and share with some friends because it's just the two of us here and we won't eat the whole thing. I've got my apple butter going. If you saw that video, I can't talk. It's storming here. It's really, really bad. Tornado watches are out everywhere. I'm hoping the power doesn't go off where I can get this cooked. Let's get to cooking. I need about a cup of uh, grated cheese, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this whole block up and go, you know, where I'll have it for other things. This casserole is very easy to make. You need a head of cabbage. This is a really small one. A small onion. You need a quarter cup of butter. You need some cream of chicken soup and some cream of mushroom soup. If you don't have either of those, you can use cream of anything. You also need some salt and pepper. And then for the topping, you're going to have Ritz crackers, another, the other fourth of the cup of butter, some cheddar cheese, and that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just chop this cabbage up. So this, since this is so small, and I may share this with friends, I'm going to put it in disposable pans. That way, if I need to freeze it, I can freeze it. Next, I'm going to cut up the onion. Now, I'm just going to sprinkle the onions on top. Yummy. If you can't get away with sneaking onions in, uh, like I do, just leave them out or use onion powder. That would be good. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to melt this whole stick of butter, which is half a cup. We're going to use a fourth of a cup in the casseroles and then uh, another fourth of a cup with the Ritz crackers. So I'm just going to melt it all. I love butter. So one cup of melted butter, and I'm going to pour it, half of it, over my casseroles. I almost would pour the whole thing and just melt some more, but that's what it calls for, so I'm going to do it. No, I think I'm going to go ahead and pour the whole thing over it. Make it good. I melt some more for the Ritz crackers. So now we're just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper over the casserole. So I'm going to use a cup of mayonnaise and then I'm going to mix the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom together. Again, if you hear hammering and everything, they're downstairs working on some construction. A lot of you know I don't measure, so I'm just guessing that a, a cup You can use more or less, whatever you want to use. I think mayonnaise makes a lot of uh, dishes good. Now I'm adding the cream of chicken soup. And again, if you want to use cream of whatever you have, it will be good, I promise you. If you're making anything that calls for cream of chicken and you don't have it, but you have chicken noodle, take your chicken noodle and put it in the blender, blend it up, you've got cream of chicken soup. Now I'm doing the cream of mushroom. Y'all wouldn't believe the wind out here. It is plum scary. Now you're going to stir this up. I had to change spoons where it wouldn't make such a loud noise. And you're just going to mix this together. Y'all, this is going to be so good. I love cabbage casserole. This was my best friend Vicky's recipe and everybody loves it. I'm going to take this soup mixture and we're going to put it on top of the cabbage. Yum. And cook in the cabbage. They already look good, don't they? Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my sleeve of 
Ritz crackers already started crushing them. And I'm going to crush them up. So I'm going to just put them in a Ziploc bag. Now you can use a dough roller if you want to. You can use, or just do it like I'm doing it. I just want these crushed really, really good. Now you can find this recipe in the description box, along with many, many other recipes. There's links to videos that you can go watch. And thank y'all for watching. We appreciate it. I'm just going to take my melted butter, and I'm just going to pour it in this Ziploc. <clears throat> And I'm just going to zip it up. I want that melted butter. I'm getting the air out. I want that melted butter on each piece of this Ritz cracker. So again, I'm just crushing them up. And that butter is going to soak in there. It's going to be so good. I'm excited about making this. I haven't made it in a long time. Now to make it easier, I put my crushed crackers with the melted butter back in the measuring cup that I used a while ago to melt the butter. I don't want to mess up any dishes that I don't have to mess up. So now I'm just going to place this on top of the casserole. Don't that look good? That's before it's baked. Now we've got our oven preheated at 350. I have set this in a pan because I'm using two smaller pans. If it does run over, I want to make sure and catch it. I don't want to mess up my oven. Preheated oven at 350. We're going to cook this. If it was one big casserole, we would cook it at uh, about 45 minutes. I'm going to check it at 30 and see how it looks. So if you're wondering where the cheese is going to go, you can either mix it in with the Ritz crackers, which I forgot to do, or you can just sprinkle it on top when it's about done, and that'll be good. That's what I'm going to do. Mm. So I did cover these with a little foil where they wouldn't get too brown on the top. These smell just delicious. So I've got some cheese grated. I've had it sitting out. I can get it open. And I'm just going to top this with this shredded cheese. Now my oven's still on. I'm going to turn it off. And I'll probably set this in for about five minutes. Yummy, looks delicious. Now I went ahead and let this cook for 45 minutes, which is what the recipe says. But I was thinking it might be done sooner since the um, I've got it split into two casseroles. Don't this look good? Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, I've got so much going on in this kitchen. <laughs> It's unbelievable. But I put that back in for about five minutes with the oven off, but it was hot. Look how good that looks. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. I think I'm going to try some. I want to make sure I want to make sure that this uh, the cabbage is done anyway. So I'm going to dip into ours. This is for tomorrow. It looks so good. It smells delicious. So this is really hot. You can see the steam. I'm sure you can. I'm going to have to really blow it. I don't want to burn myself on camera. Looks so good. Mm-mm-mm. I have to say that's delicious. Don't add any salt to it. It is a little salty. That cheese probably made it a little too salty along with the soups. And then I added the salt too. So if you don't like salt, you may want to leave the salt off since you've got the cheese and the soup. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I could eat that all by itself. I can't eat anymore. We're going out with some friends, but that is delicious. I will say. Uh, Y'all keep watching? Mm -hmm. One thing we do around here, we eat good. Y'all go cook something. <laughs>